We are now going to look at Gradebook again, this time at Scales. We've logged in as a teacher, we're going to Grades, and we're going to look at View, Setup, Scales is the area we want to look at. Let's click on Scales. There are two standard scales that come as a default. The second one, Not Yet Competent and Competent, is a sort of standard scale. The idea is that instead of using numbers and using letters, we can use actual words, which is quite useful. Scales can be a little bit complicated though to set up. Let's add a new scale. We're going to create our own. The one we're going to use is not yet competent, competent and exempt, because the exempt condition may be something that you need to use as well. When you put a scale in, you type in each word that relates to the scale from the most negative to the most positive, or from the lowest to the highest. So in this case, not yet competent, followed by competent is the next in the scale, and exempt. We're using those in the level of scale because there will be numbers or percentages that relate to each of these items. In our case, not yet competent will be 0% or the number 1. Competent will be 50% or the number 2. And exempt will be 100% or the number 3. That may not make a lot of sense yet, but it will very soon. Let's save changes. We now have our own custom scale. What we need to do is apply that scale to an assignment. Let's go to our view. We have assignment one. Let's go into assignment one and choose edit settings. Go down to grades, choose scale, and choose our not yet competent, competent, exempt scale. Because we're using this scale, we need to set a grade out of the values of, because we've got three items, the values of one, two, or three. Our pass will be competent. So either competent or exempt will be classed as a pass. And because they're numbered one, two, three, we'll use the number two as the pass grade. Let's scroll down, save and display. Back to our gradebook. Let's have a look at how this actually works. I've turned on manual editing for the grader report, so we can just make our changes here rather than go through the whole grading process. We can now click below assignment one for student and choose either not yet competent, competent or exempt. I'll choose not yet competent. I will also choose competent for student two. So there are two grades. I'm going to refresh the page. The reason is refreshing updates the colors of what is a pass and what is a fail. So not yet competent is classed as not yet competent, it's red. Competent has come up as a pass, it's green. Let's have a little bit of a look at this on from the perspective of the student to see what result they get. We go to user report, choose student one. Student one has not yet competent as their grade. The range is not yet competent to exempt. Their percentage result is zero. We still have uh, some feedback there that probably isn't appropriate. We'll have to fix that. If we go to student two, student two has a grade of competent and their percentage mark is 50%. Remember I said if there was three items in our scale, the first one was 0%. The next one was 50% and the third one is 100%. Let's go and change a grade for a student. Student has now been classed as exempt instead. Notice that when I first go out of that, the exempt is red. It doesn't change the colors until you refresh the page. Once you refresh the page, it shows exempt is green. Let's go to user report, choose student. We now have student, student has a grade exempt and the percentage result is 100%. We can leave well done in there now. That's how scale works. Making sure that you always put them in in the order of importance or the order of negativity to positivity. Not yet competent to competent to exempt. You could swap competent and exempt around if you wanted to. That would be fine too. Back to our view. One important thing you may need to know as well is the totals for a scale. In this case, we have a quiz is 0 to 2. Our core total is 0 to 5. Notice there's a difference of 3. The assignment 
can be either one, two, or three because we have three items in our scale. So the grade result or total will be five. So there's our three in there plus two gives us our core total of five. That's an overview of how scales work in Moodle.